And welcome back to Zonpacto Creation Series. Today's Zonpacto comes to us from Lord High Admiral Squid, who asked the question, Why is the Zonpacto of Annabeth from the Percy Jackson series, uh, Daughter of Athena, if I'm not mistaken, Zonpacto? Now, this is actually a very unique one. Uh, she is, the, like I said, she's a demigod, daughter of, Annab uh, daughter of Athena. So she's daughter of the goddess of the hunt. She is a warrior. Uh, and I'll be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of the character in the movies, but whatever. I'm sure she's better in the books. Um, and give me one second here. I'm just going to retype in the name of her Zanpakuto in the English to Japanese. Because I wrote, this is actually one of the first ones I did. Maybe not one of the first. But one of the earlier ones I wrote down. Uh, let's see here. So, one of, yeah, one of the earlier ones I wrote down. Uh, so, I, it's more like my, uh, my handwriting is a little, it has kind of frayed, because I write it in pencil. Um, but, um, yeah, so, because of this, she is a warrior persona, but she's also got, you know, the blood of a, um, of a god in her. So this poses a unique little task. What does a Zompak do? Um... Uh, Zanpak Toe for a character like this look like? Well, first and foremost, what's the type of Zanpak Toe? It's predominantly a melee, although it does have a semi shikai like ability to it. Um, semi shikai ability to it. Uh, sealed, it's is a standard katana. Like like most of these, they're standard katana. Uh, now the shikai, it's known as archers. Aim, which translates either into um, Archino Makoteko or Ite Haku. Oh God, uh, Ite Hokoi. Uh, I think Ite Hokoi sounds a little better. Um, it's Bonga. It's Bankai is Hunt Goddess's Bow, which I'm currently still uh, trying to translate here. Uh, translates out either to, depending on how you want to go about it, um, Mega, oh god, Megamino, Megamino, uh, Megamino, Ya, Yumio, Karu, yeah. or, one second here, Hanto, Megumi, Yumi, which I like that better. <laughs> so we're going with that one. Uh, yeah, Hanto, Megumi, Yumi. Uh, Megumi Yumi. Uh, its spear is in the form of a woman with a bird. Basically, her mother, Athena. Like the, the wise owl Bubo. And the form is of... A, and the standard form of it is a uh, bow and arrow. It, it, it fits with the goddess of the hunt motif. Now, why is the ability of this? Well, the scabbard turns into the bow. The sword turns into the uh, the arrow. And it is equipped with a reishi rope that is, uh, that is feeding it riatsu. Now, the bow will hit its target. Like, whatever she's aiming at, it will hit its target. Now, if the target moves behind an object, it will hit the object instead. But with the reishi rope, she's immediately able to just retract the bow back to her. Uh, I should also say that it charges... The bow can be charged up with riatsu to strike with much more sufficient force, if need be. Um, but... It's uh, it's mostly just, you know, hit uh, target, hit target, and then you can pull the arrow back. And because it's attached to a racing string, the arrow itself can be used kind of like as a, um, a mid-range whip weapon. So there's that as well. The Bonkai, the arrow disappears as well as the bow. And a lar well, the arrow disappears. And a large pair of racy bow, uh, like, uh, like a large pair of hands with a bow and arrow made of reishi appear, and all she and it's really just behind um, Annabeth, uh, and fire basically giant arrows of Riazza. Now, if she fully realizes this bonkai, it's going to be something kind of akin to uh, Kokujo Tengen Myo, where it is basically going to use Naili from uh, Magic Gathering for this, where basically this think this but with just the hand and the bow and arrow. And basically, she's controlling this like Komomura would control his Bankai, his Shikai. And he's controlling this. Uh, she's controlling this. And she can fire giant, massive F-off Reiatsu uh, arrows of energy 
at the opponent. Now, this Bonka, this uh, Zompacto does have some issues with it. While they are both, uh, while they will definitely hit something, the target can still, like the arrow can still theoretically be stopped. So for instance, you know, it's about to like Biakia or Kempachi, for example, could just grab it and like the bow would still, the arrow would still theoretically be moving towards the target. Uh, but, you know, someone who's smart enough, like, say, an Urahara, could grab it and be like, oh, well, this thing doesn't seem to want to stop, but wait a minute, it's just got to hit its target, right? Tap, and it just stops. And it's like, well, you're not getting this back, and it just severs the connection with the Shikai. <laughs> so that's the, the string, if you know how to, like, dis uh, disable Ryatsu, is um, the rope is a very big weak point. Particularly against, like, a Quincy? Oh, that'd be a bad thing. Also, this is, while it's a melee weapon, it's not a good close-range weapon. Uh, the bow, I mean, sure, the bow and arrow could be used in melee combat in close range, but they're not designed for it. They're designed for long to mid range. <clears throat> uh, and furthermore, I mean, again, it's the same Riyadzu thing. Anyone with more strong Riyadzu can overpower you, blah, 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 blah. This isn't like Komamora's Bankai, though, where like the Reishi appendages from the Bankai, if they get hit, she's going to get hit and vice versa. It's not like that. Um, that being said, it is still drawing on her Riyatsu and the Zanpakuto's Riyatsu, so those will run out after a while. Still, I think this would be a very fitting Zanpakuto for a character like this. Uh, she is a warrior, she is a fighter, so I I do like this concept for a Zanpakuto for her. That is, though, just my concept for Zanpakuto for Annabeth. What is your concept? Let me know in the comments below if you have a different idea for her. If you don't, that's cool either, right? Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.